Ham Radio to the rescue again, and this time it's over satellite. Satellite transmissions rescued someone over the ham radio. Watch this. I've recorded a bunch of these uh, ham radios. I say a bunch. I've recorded like three of these ham radio saves lives videos. And a special thanks to Shane, uh, K5QBF, from this side of the radio, also on the ham radio clubhouse, for sending me this story. He's like, hey, this is a cool story. I'm like, dude, are you going to do a video? He's like, no, I'll go for it. He's like, cool. So let's, <laughs> so let's do this here. So this is emergency traffic relayed over the AO92 satellite. This is from 2019. Okay, and this wasn't really a life and death situation, although it, I guess it could have been. If left too long, it could have been. But this was a vehicle stuck in the mud. And it was in Texas at Big Bend National Park. Okay, so on August 27th of 2019, W5PFG and his father Jack, AC5DI, were tra traversing the Chihuahuan Desert in Big Bend National Park, Texas, USA, when their vehicle became stuck in the mud from recent monsoon rains. Big Bend National Park is a POTA spot. I've been there twice. Uh, my wife and I went just a few months ago at the time of this recording, and it is an excellent, it is huge. It's huge. You you drive into the park, okay? You drive, you follow the signs for the state park, for the national park. You drive into the park, and you go about two miles before you get to the guard shack. And then you show them your pass or you pay for a day pass or whatever. And then you drive in further and you can drive 26 miles into the park before you get to the Mexican border. It's right there on the Mexican, uh, Texas-Mexican border on the Rio Grande River. And wow, it is, it's, it's just enormous. And there's a lot of really cool overland trails up there, a lot of cool hiking trails, a couple of soda spots. The entire park is a POTA spot because it's, it's a national park. So very fun place to visit. Uh, going to be going back there in the future. So... Might be, might even be a trip for us YouTubers one of these days. We'll see what people think about that. Being stuck up to the axles, they were unable to self-recover from the situation, requiring assistance from park rangers. August temperatures in the desert reach upwards of 110 to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. There's no mobile phone coverage outside park headquarters, and that is completely true. The cell phone service out there is terrible. We had Wi-Fi in our RV spot that we stayed in, but there was no cell phone driving to and from the park. Clayton made contact via AMSAT satellite AO2, AO92 with with Kevin, KK4YEL, in Florida. During the satellite pass, stations stood by while Clayton relayed emergency traffic to Kevin. The information included details about the situation, including precise latitude and longitude, the phone number for the Big Bend National Park, vehicle description, and welfare of the party. Again, nobody was hurt. It was hot outside, obviously. I don't know how much fuel they had, whether they, they could run the car and uh, stay in the air conditioner because it because because the heat. But regardless, they were stuck. Okay, so... Not life and death situation, at least not yet, but no cell phone coverage and ham radio to the rescue via satellite. Check this out. Other stations listening to the pass included Brian, KG5GJT, that's a mouthful, contacted the park headquarters. Within two hours, park rangers arrived on scene, recovered the stuck vehicle. No person was injured, no equipment was damaged. Clayton and Jack were traveling to DL8JX, a Maidenhead grid square highly sought after by many AWRL VUCC members. Yes. So I got to look that up. So the next time I go down there, I got to look up uh, DL88JX and maybe make an announcement saying I'm going there. Clayton had previously made two successful trips to this location. Both Clayton and Jack were grateful for Kevin, KK4YEL, to the responsiveness of the amateur radio community and park rangers of the sta and the staff of the Big Bend National Park. Okay, and then it gives courtesy of uh, recording courtesy of KQ4MM on this Twitter link here and recording courtesy of CO6CBF and W5CBF uh, on this Twitter link here. Now, I'll share these. I'll share the link to all this in the description below. But the coolest part about this is that it's on YouTube. It's on a, a channel called Emery Clark. Uh, it's only had, it's, it was posted three years ago. It's only had 1,200 views. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys listen to part of this transmission. I'm going to link the video in the description below. You guys go check out the whole video because this is not going to be the whole video that's played right here. Today's video is sponsored by Mezzi and Palomi Coax, where you can always save a 5% discount on all of their items at the link in the description be below by using the coupon code of KC5HWB. Mezzi and Palomi makes some of the best coax that I have ever seen in this industry. Small sizes coax, lightweight, airborne, up to the Broad Pro 50 coax, which is what I personally run 
in my ham shack. They've been sponsors of this show for a long time. I really appreciate their support. And again, you can save a 5% discount at the link in the description below with the coupon code of KC5HWB. Thank you, Mezzi and Plummy, for supporting this channel. KC4YEL, this is W5PFG. Uh, Kevin, I need you to take some information for me. Stand by. We have a little emergency. Everybody else, please stand by. Let me relay the information to Kevin. Are you ready, Kevin? USL. Okay, we have a little problem. We're stuck here. Uh, some fluttering in the microphone that almost sounds like a uh, one of those uh, external speaker mics that when you key up, it goes... Drrr. Sometimes those cheap speaker mics can do that. I don't know if that's just the recording, if that's the AOPAT, but you can hear him clear as day. A little bit of fluttering in the microphone, a little bit of static, but, I mean, he's 100% he's copy. Uh, prepare to copy the information. Big Ben National Park break. 432-4700. Two two five one four three two four seven seven two two five one break. River Road West. River Road West between Solis, that's Sierra, Oscar, Lima, India, Sierra, and Mariscal, that's Mike. Alpha, Romeo, India, Sierra, Charlie, Alpha, Lima, Mine, Mariscal, Mine, break. White Toyota pickup, stuck in mud, two males, break. Can't self-recover, have plenty of food and water, break. So not life and death because they had plenty of food and water. I don't know what defines plenty, but apparently that's what they told him, and he's relaying this message. Stand by for coordinates. 29 degrees, 4 minutes. Decimal 531. Coordinates. West, 103 degrees, 7 minutes, 827 decimal. Do you copy, Kevin? QSL, QSL. Okay, the next pass I'm going to work is going to be XW2 Alpha at 1617 Zulu. That'll be 1617. I'll work XW2 Alpha, and then I'll be on AO92 at 1736, but not to make copy. So there you go. There you go. He worked. He had his HT. Presuming that's a, I'm presuming that's an HT he had. They were going out to activate a grid square that is sought after because there's not there's probably nobody living out there in the grid square so chasing all grids is is a thing vucc is part of that effort and they went out to activate a grid square so they already had all this equipment in their vehicle to do this activation hopefully they were doing coda as well i don't know when they got stuck they're like well let's pull out this equipment we're, we've got in the truck and just you know make some contact so so they were able to use a satellite transmission on VHF, I assume the AO92, I believe it's on VHF. It's it's either VHF up and UHF down or vice versa. It's an FM satellite. And they were able to make contact with somebody. It said he was in Florida. So they were in Big Bend National Park in Texas, and Kevin, the other station, was in Florida. The Kevin, the, the one you just heard. So Kevin calls the park rangers, gives the coordinates, gives the situation, and the park rangers, the, the guys, arrived um, a short time later. Very cool stuff that uh, satellite was used. You don't always have to be line of sight simplex. You don't always have to be on HF. You don't always have to be. Sometimes, I did one of these videos a while back where um, a guy got lost in the woods and he used his DMR radio to contact a DMR repeater which is connected to the internet, but he had no cell phone service. He said the cell phone service in the area was spotty, but his battery had died because he, he got lost in woods, was out there longer than he anticipated on being. Satellite's another way. Satellite got these guys rescued, got them out of a situation that they couldn't recover from, and there you go. I appreciate you guys sending me these stories. I've had several of these stories sent to me since I was talking about this first one I did a while back. And I really like these stories. Check the link in the description below for this, for the complete audio of what we just listened to and the links to the story of uh, more more information about this specific rescue not a life-threatening rescue but a rescue nonetheless you have any stories like this shoot me an email kc5hwb gmail.com